integrate 1 over x to the power 9 times the square root of 1 plus x to the power of 16 dx. You may use the chapters below to jump to the section of thinking process and detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today I want to share with you this integral of large parts of x, 9 and 16. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, the most natural way to start with is to substitute the term 1 plus x to the power of 16. Let u is equal to this expression. Then we'll obtain du is equal to 16x to the power of 15 dx. However, we have the term x to the power of 9 is actually quite hard to get rid of it from x to the power of 15. Therefore, we need another way to do it. Let's consider a simpler integral x times square root of 1 plus x squared dx. So we'll use the substitution let u equals to 1 plus x squared, then du is 2x times dx. If we put u equals to 1 plus x squared inside the differential, we have the 1 plus x squared is equal to 2x dx. It's not hard to understand this equation from left to right. It is a differentiation. However, if we view it from right to left, it is the reverse of differentiation, which is integration. We go one step further to write it as x times dx is equal to 1 half d1 plus x squared. Now, this direction is integration. And that means, actually, we can imagine that to absorb the x term inside the differential is doing an integration. We know that integrate x is x squared with extra 1 half outside. And if you compare these two differentials, the x squared and the 1 plus x squared, they are also the same because differentiate any constant is zero. In other words, we're going to change the differential so that it looks like the square root term. Let's see how we do it. So integrate x root 1 plus x squared dx. So we Quote unquote, absorb the x inside the differential, then the integrand is just the term 1 plus x squared to the power 1 half. And then for the differential, we'll have integrate x is x squared times 1 half. Next, it is 1 half integrate bracket 1 plus x squared to the power 1 half d x squared, as I mentioned, we can add any constant inside the differential because the constant is zero. Then this form is actually integrate u to the power of one half du, which is equal to u to the power of three over two divided by three over two. That means to multiply to reciprocal two over three plus c. Hence, we get one half times 1 plus x squared power 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 plus c and cancel the 2, we get the final answer. To conclude, we're going to change the differential so that it looks like the term inside the square root. Let's see how we'll do it in a part of detailed solutions. To evaluate this integral, we're going to change the square root term in a special form. So the integral is 1 over x to the power of 9, and then the square root of, we take out x to the power of 16. So inside the bracket, we have x to the power of negative 16 plus 1 dx. Next, the integral is 1 over x to the power of 9. For the term x to the power of 16, taking square root, it is x to the power of 8. 
and inside the square root it is x to the power of 16 plus 1 dx. So we'll continue and let's rewrite the square root term inside the denominator as a rational power. So we have x to the power of negative 16 plus 1 to the power of negative 1 half and then x to the power 9 times x to the power of 8 is x to the power of 17 in the denominator which is written as x to the power of negative 17 like this and then dx now we are ready to absorb the term x to the power of negative 17 inside the differential so the integrand is just x to the power of negative 16 plus 1 to the power of negative 1 half and then the differential is the following to absorb a certain term inside the differential means to integrate it that means integrate x to the power of 17 is x to the power of negative 16 so we have to divide negative 16 outside moreover to ensure that the term inside the bracket is the same as the differential we have to add an extra one here and we can do so because differentiate constant is zero it doesn't change the differential so this integral is in the form integrate u to the power negative one half du which is equal to u to the power negative one half plus one is positive one half divide one half that means times two plus a constant c so it is equal to one over negative 16 we have x to the power negative 16 plus 1 to the power positive 1 half and then times 2 plus c where c is a constant and now cancel out the 2 we have negative 8 in the denominator so we further simplify the answer to obtain negative 1 over 8 and then square root of 1 over x to the power of 16 plus 1 and then plus c so this is equal to negative the square root of 1 plus x to the power of 16 in the numerator and in the denominator it is 8 times the square root of x to the power of 16 which is x to the power of 8 plus c so this is the simplest answer for this difficult integral. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. This is all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.